The UK's gas distribution networks keep the energy flowing to heat homes, cook and power businesses and industry. They deliver energy safely today, whilst preparing the gas network to be able to transport green gases such as hydrogen and biomethane, so communities across the country can play their part in helping the UK achieve net zero. Our customers and stakeholders tell us we need to deliver services that are suitable for everyone, particularly the most vulnerable in society. This has always been important to us, but we're unable to go further to support people most in need with funding supported by our regulator Ofgem. This is called the Vulnerability and Carbon Monoxide Allowance, or VCMA for short. Through this allowance, we can support projects as individual gas networks or collaboratively to achieve the best impact and greatest outcome for customers. By working together, co-designing and co-developing, we can achieve the best outcomes from projects that improve the lives of people with significant life challenges. In response to the rising cost of energy, all gas networks have partnered with the Fuel Bank Foundation and through the VCMA, committed to providing the charity with a combined £500,000 fund over two years. We know that already over 6.5 million households are struggling to afford their energy. And for those on prepayment meters, that can mean extreme rationing or self-disconnection. This partnership funded by the Vulnerability and Carbon Monoxide Allowance enables us to provide emergency funding to those in energy crisis. Living without energy is a tragedy that affects so many people across the country. When you don't have the money you need to top up your prepayment meter, the lights stop, the gas stops flowing. And that's why our partnership with the GB Energy Networks is so important, because this winter we'll be able to provide more crisis help to more people when they need it. As well as supporting people with their energy bills, the VCMA has funded a national partnership with Citizens Advice. Running for 15 months from January 2022, the partnership will see Citizens Advice raise awareness of carbon monoxide and reduce carbon monoxide risk for over 17,500 vulnerable people by incorporating carbon monoxide awareness and safety discussions into their well-established and successful energy advice programme. We're also piloting carbon monoxide and energy advice packs for 2,500 people most in need that will provide follow-up advice and information, an in-home thermometer card and a carbon monoxide alarm. The outcome of this pilot will inform whether we extend this offering for the full partnership. Through the VCMA funding, Citizens Advice are also able to extend their energy advice programme to an additional 5,000 vulnerable people, providing in-depth energy advice and support sessions for people who need it most. This support is more vital than ever to ensure that households and families most in need stay safe and warm. We know that this partnership and the support provided by the energy advice programme is going to make a huge difference to communities all across England and Wales. As well as helping combat the cost of living crisis, VCMA funding is supporting safety campaigns, both on a national level and on a more targeted basis. The gas networks have partnered with the Scout Association to help educate young people about the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning and how to keep themselves and their families safe from the silent killer. The project, which has a duration of three years, will launch activities for all age groups between 6 and 18 years, helping them to understand the signs and symptoms of carbon monoxide and what steps to take if they suspect the poisonous gas is present in their homes. Carbon monoxide safety is something everyone should know about. Four activities have been created for beavers and cubs and plans are already in the pipeline for scouts and explorers. Cubs will now be able to earn their Cubs Home Safety Activity Badge, which has been sponsored by the Gas Networks. As part of this, they'll be learning how to prevent accidents in the home and gaining knowledge on what to do if they occur. Through this partnership, we can equip over 422,000 young people across the UK with important skills that may one day save a life. Right across the UK, the VCMA funded a winter safety campaign raising awareness of the risk of carbon monoxide while highlighting the support offered by the Priority Service Register. It used a range of channels to reach 29 million people, taking advantage of radio advertising, social and printed media and out-of-home advertising, including on the London Underground. Through these channels, the campaign reached over 29 million people, giving critical safety information and signposting them towards the PSR. For many people, winter can be a challenge in time. With the heating turned up and appliances working harder, 
it increases the risk of carbon monoxide related incidents. Less than 50% of homes have a carbon monoxide alarm, so making sure people can access accurate information on how to stay gas safe is critical. And with estimates showing over 6 million people who could be on the priority services register are not, it's great to see the VCMA reaching the most vulnerable and highlighting the free support that their energy companies offer. VCMA funding is also supporting research on safety during pregnancy. Working with improving practice in performance, Liverpool John Moores University, the CO Research Trust, the NHS and a number of fire and rescue services, the gas networks are researching the risk of environmental carbon monoxide exposure in pregnancy by installing carbon monoxide data loggers in homes and exploring how best to engage with pregnant women on carbon monoxide safety. While the recruitment of pregnant women into this project was slowed by the COVID-19 pandemic, research will continue through autumn and winter 2022. This research is seeking to provide an understanding of the scale of the problem and the actions required to protect pregnant women and their unborn babies. We're assessing the sources of harm and levels within the homes and trying to understand whether the breath test undertaken at the maternity appointments is a good indicator of exposure. We're also exploring women's and professionals' understanding of the harm caused by exposure and the potential barriers and facilitators to protecting pregnant women. We're going on to co-design interventions and pathways and protocols that can be implemented at scale to protect families, particularly the most vulnerable. Between April 2021 and March 2026, the gas networks have £60 million to invest in projects to provide extra support for customers who need it most. This includes people who are in vulnerable situations, as well as raising awareness and helping reduce the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. While we're the gas safety experts, we don't have all the answers on how to support people in vulnerable situations. So we want to hear from trusted intermediaries and people working on the front line of support services. We better understand the needs of local communities to help us develop targeted and impactful support programs. Suggestions can be for projects delivered by one or multiple gas networks. If you have a project that you think can be suitable, then please get in touch.